Hello everyone, this is Scott with InMotion Hosting. In today's video, we're going to go through installing PressaShop onto your hosting account. And we're going to do that using the Softaculous installer tool that's located in your control panel. First thing we're going to do is get to the control panel, or called cPanel as well. And you can do that through the main site here by going to the AMP login. Once you log into the AMP or the account management panel, you'll be able to locate the control panel, cPanel icon and get in there. Or you can go to the address bar up top type in your domain name, put slash cPanel. All right, that'll lead you to a login box. All right, go ahead and enter your cPanel username and password there. Okay, now once you're inside the control panel, I'm gonna scroll down and find the software services category. Once you're there, go ahead and click the Softaculous icon. This brings us to this main Softaculous page. Press the shop is one of the top scripts. So we're gonna go over there Hover over that and click on the install button. Okay, this brings us to the software setup page. Uh, these are the default settings for the install. I'm gonna go down real quick and explain them to you and tell you which ones you need to change and which ones you can leave as is. First thing we're gonna run across here is the version number. It does give the most recent version at the top, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. Next is the protocol. Um, you have two options here. By default, you have the HTTP with or without www. If you also have a SSL certificate installed on your site, you can also use the, the bottom two options here. So you'd have four options to use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is. Next is your domain name. Uh, I only have one domain here, Scottronics, on my account. So that's going to be the domain I'm using for. If you have more than one, you'll have a, the option to choose whichever one you want to put the presser shop under. Uh, the directory here is very important. Uh, the way it is right now, as I install it, I'll have to go to scottronics.com slash presta to view my storefront. If I want that to be my main storefront, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that out and leave that blank. So then when I go to scottronics itself, uh, then I'll be able to see the actual storefront. Uh, database name, just go ahead and leave that as is. Unless you have a reason to change it, it is randomly generated. And now we're down to site settings. I'm going to change my store, which is going to be across, uh, the, is be the name of the store. I'm going to change that to... Uh, this is Scottronics new and used electronics, kind of like a created a little fake store here. All right, and then you have the admin folder. Uh, by default, it's named admin, and Press Shop forces you to change that before it'll let you use its, the software. It does suggest admin123 by default, but um, I recommend changing it even from that. You can change it to something that doesn't even have admin in it, anything you want. Um, for demonstration purposes, however, I'm going to leave that there. Next, we have the table prefix. All right, and that's PS underscore. It's fine to leave that there. And then now we have the admin account section. The first area here is the admin email, which is the login also for your admin. You're going to log in with an actual email address as opposed to just a normal username. Uh, it gives a default of admin at the domain name you're using, which is scottronics.com in this case. I'll go ahead and leave that there. And in the password, it gives you password. We definitely don't want to use that. So just use this key icon here and click around until you find a password that you would like. Okay, You can copy that and save that on the side, write it down so, so you remember it later. Then you have the first and last name of the system administrator. Uh, I'm just going to leave that as is. You feel free to put your own name in there if you like. We're almost there. Right before we click the install button, we're going to go to this field here and add a email address that you have access to. And what this does is it sends a copy of this information here on the software setup to that email address for your records. Now you don't have to do this. This is optional. Um, actually, we're going to leave that blank here and go ahead and click the install button. It's going to run through the process here and set up the, the database, the file structure, all your files. And once this is ready, our uh, storefront should be ready to view. All right, now we have two links here after it successfully installs. It tells us our main storefront and then there's the admin login as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and visit our website just like you would from any normal web browser here. All right, and we should see our storefront. And there we go. This is our basic Press the Shop storefront. Yours should look the same. All right, up and down. All right, and that's how you install Press the Shop using Softaculous from the C panel. Again, I'm Scott with InMotion Hosting, and thanks for watching.